Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we are going to see rearrange arrays to maximize perfect score. If you guys are liking the video or if you have watched it earlier or if you after liking the after watching the video, if you like it, then please hit the like button and helps you motivates a lot, a lot. Before further ado, let's start. The problem says that we are given a zero index integer array called nums. You have to rearrange the element of nums in any order we want, any order. Cool. The prefix is defined as the prefix sums of nums after rearranging nums, which means rearrange the nums is being rearranged. It's new. It's fine. Then we have to find the prefix sum and we have to make sure that the score of nums i is the number of positive integers in the array prefix, which means the prefix sum array, which we have made right now, any number of integers which are positive in that prefix sums array is my score. And I need to maximize my score, which means I need to maximize the number of positive integers in my prefix sums array, which is made by rearranging nums. Cool. Prefix is just adding numbers, which means prefix of i is nothing but prefix of i minus 1 plus my nums of i. So we need to make this number as positive. You see one thing. It is just being added in the prefix so basically it's always beneficial for me if my prefix of i minus 1 is as large as possible or i can easily say that more the positive numbers in the prefix sums because see prefix sums means it just keeps on adding the previous number it has occurred prefix sum indirectly it means that if i have these numbers so it will just keep on adding that, which means that if I have this orange number, so orange number is here, then blue number came. So blue plus orange will be there. Then let's say a white number came. So white plus blue plus orange will be there, right? So it means that previous numbers are being added up in prefix sums. So why not make those added numbers as large itself, which means that I can just sort this array nums in decreasing order, which will actually make my nums array as decreasing. This means 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 3, minus 3. What will happen now is my prefix sum, it will keep on increasing until a negative number arrives, which means that it's keep on increasing, which means firstly, I'm getting all positive numbers. And nextly, whensoever a negative number is coming, it's the smallest ever negative number, which means that my number will reduce my number, my prefix sum will reduce slightly, very slowly, very slowly, because the number ahead is slow, is small. If it would not have been, let's say, if the number would have have been, let's say, minus seven after this minus three, and basically minus seven would have occurred right here. So minus so the so this six would have instantly reduced to minus one. And these 5, 2, minus 1 would not have come. But if, if we put it in, my, in the last, then it would have been a minus 8 right here. So you got that? We need as many maximum numbers as possible. So I just tried to put as low negative number as possible in the start. Although you can easily arrange these positive numbers any way you want. Because ultimately the sum of positive numbers are always positive but as soon as the negative numbers start you need to put in the minimum negative number or kind of vice versa which means that the modulus of that negative number needs to be minimum right which means that minus one after that more negative number after that more and ne more negative after that more negative which means they're sorting in the, des in the de uh, descending order and we are good to go to find the prefix sum and it's just that find its prefix sum which means after sorting my nums array in decreasing order find its prefix sum and number of positive integers in this prefix sum is the maximum number of positive numbers we can get because we choose greedily everything and it's the same thing which we did in the code firstly we sorted in the, de in the decreasing order and then we found the prefix sums as standard prefix of i is prefix of i minus one plus nums of i then we found that okay how many number of prefix sums are positive and that's the ultimate answer i hope that you guys liked it if there's in the like button it helps motivate a lot and see you in the video. goodbye take care bye for kind of traveling